Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. Um, today is World Kidney Day. And while the theme for this year is living better with kidney disease, it's also important to acknowledge the impact on families and family caregivers. Um, as you can see from the slide there, uh, we do have a very interesting panel and it is our privilege to bring together this panel with varied experiences to talk about certain topics from the point of view of uh, the parent. But first, let me quickly introduce uh, Patients Engage. Uh, Patients Engage is an online platform operational for over five years. We're focused on evidence-based and holistic management of chronic conditions from the perspective of patients and family caregivers. We believe in the value of lived experiences and uh, you know, strongly uh, wish that patients and caregivers would inform themselves better in order to feel more empowered and take better decisions, uh, leading to better quality of life. Uh, we have been working on you know, doing a series of webinars on kidney disease, but we've also done this series on uh, specifically looking at experiences of patients and families. Uh, we started last year with the uh, webinar on living better with kidney disease with Shruti Mukundan, Kamal Shah, and Anjali uh, Uthup Kurian. And uh, uh, Shruti and Kamal are uh, living with kidney disease and Anjali is a uh, sibling of uh, Sunny. Anjali and Sunny came together later again in the year uh, talking about how they coped and supported each other as uh, siblings. Um, and uh, today, we have with us, uh, as I said, an amazing panel of, uh, uh, so I'll go from left to right. We have Vasundra Raghavan, who's the head of Kidney Warriors Foundation. We've got Satyendra Rathor, um, whose son has uh, kidney disease. And, uh, you know, everyone knows Usha Uthup. Uh, she also uh, has a son. Her son, Sunny, has uh, kidney disease. And we are happy to call out both Kidney Warriors Foundation as well as Sunny Foundation uh, in this uh, uh, in this webinar today. Um, quick guidance to our attendees: the information here is based on the experience of the panelists and is not to be taken as medical advice. Uh, please do consult your doctor for specific medical issues. You may get some ideas. You can take it back to your doctor for further discussion. This session is being recorded, so if you're logged into Zoom, please post your questions on the Q&A. If you're on Facebook, post them on the live feed. And if you have an experience to share, write in to us at editor at patientsengage.com. Our website is www.patientsengage.com. And we are on social platforms like we're on Facebook, uh, Instagram, Twitter, and all of the webinars get recorded and put onto YouTube. If you want, don't want to miss our daily uh, you know, articles that we release, then you can also download the Android app uh, from the Play Store. So let's me not take too much of the time and let's get started with our uh, panelists. Um, and as I said, uh, what I would like each one of you to do is describe your child in a couple of sentences, uh, you know, their identity before kind of kidney disease took over their lives and you know the family lives of the family so let us start with you satendra as to uh, you know how you would describe your child before he was diagnosed with a kidney disease so he was a normal child i, I was considering him as a normal child and he was also uh, in the same uh, like playing outside and having a very normal life. So it, life was more peaceful and joyful before the diagnosis. But then uh, the life is tensed after uh, the treatment started. So that is the main difference between the two parts. Right. OK. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Usha ji, how, what did, you know, what do you remember of your son before the diagnosis? Yeah. Okay. First, let me say namaskar, namaskaram, satsrikal, salam alaikum to everybody who's on the panel and everybody else who's watching the live stream. Um, 
when you say, what did I uh, think of my son before uh, this was diagnosed? I would say the very name Sonny is uh, what he was and what he is. And, uh, you know, Sonny has always been such an outdoor person, such a people's person and such a person full of life. I mean, you know, just uh, raring to go and uh, the life of every party and uh, every other mother and every other sister and every other person thought that he was just the gem of the party and the life of the party, though he was different with me. <laughs> I guess all sons are like that. And um, I remember uh, very, very clearly, the one thing that has stayed in my mind, as far as Sunny is concerned, is the name Sunny. He was really, really full of uh, life and full of uh, fun. And uh, shall I say, full of spirit, real spirit to be a go-getter. I mean, you know, right. really happy. And also a very, very soft and gentle person deep within. Right. Very soft. He wouldn't harm a flea. Mm. Not a mm. chance. And he still remains like that. Uh, right. I've been a very proud mother before and I'm uh, even prouder mother today because uh, he is truly my hero. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I feel... Um, Yes, you know, different from uh, what uh, Satyendra said, that, uh, you know, life was different then. Of course, it was different. Right. Of course, life was different then. But uh, I find you uh, look into different facets of life now. And uh, yeah, Sunny is Sunny. Right, me. right, right. Vasundra. <laughs> um, uh, Aditya was... Uh... He still is a very uh, people's person mm. and uh, he was very fond of cooking and he was uh, <laughs> wanting to join the uh, catering institute. Right. And uh, of course, <coughs> as soon as the kidney uh, was knocked at his door, we <laughs> parents pushed him into education. Mm. He did his PhD and uh, he did his postdoctorate and now he's gone back into cooking Right. Right. Good, good. It's it's wonderful when they actually, you know, kind of find their way back into their areas of passion, right? So that's really crazy, you know, because even Sunny, uh, he loves watching Master Chef. Right. And he's uh, he really loves uh, and not that he's ever uh, gone into the kitchen to really do something like probably Basundra's son, but you, you know, he is a very, very fond of uh, cooking. Yeah, I, I just realized that because every day that I go into his room mm. uh, three or four times in a day, I notice that he's uh, always watching MasterChef. Right. <laughs> Besides the golf and, uh, you know, the tennis and cricket that he's always watching right. and football. Right. So he's the, he's the couch chef, as I call my husband as well. <laughs> <laughs> yes, really couch chef. <laughs> uh, um, Satyendra, if you can kind of come back on and stay. Um, so how old was your son when he was initially diagnosed and what were the early symptoms, uh, etc.? If you can just, uh, you know, very quickly tell us that. Yeah, so uh, like in the age of nine years, he was diagnosed uh, with the CKD5 stage. And uh, definitely after that, the treatment started. But uh, I think the early symptoms were, of course, uh, the UTI and uh, were the, the key symptom which was there. And he got the treatment for that also. But <laughs> the, then the in, in the ninth year, I think that the, the, it was the fifth stage which was diagnosed and then the treatment started. Right, right. Um, and uh, did you have any, you know, symptoms that you um, should have watched out for or, you know, what were the, just so that people who are watching are aware, you know, what I know you said, I think uh, that he suddenly became very weak. Uh, were there any other symptoms that uh, you all picked up on? Yeah, so for me, I think uh, the foam with the urine is one. And second is, of course, the weakness part and loss of appetite is there. Right. So, uh, and I think the weakness is very, very much visible in the CKD patient. Right. So these are the three key symptoms which we observe. So. Uh, okay. And um, 
Vasundra, uh, with your son, how, how how old was he and what were the initial symptoms? Uh, he was 15 years and when he was 10 years, we had gone to a urologist. He was supposed to be the senior most and experienced person. So we went to him very embarrassed that he was bedwetting and we said, this has to be solved because Aditya was finding it very difficult to go and uh, spend night, you know, have this uh, night over uh, with mm. cousins and friends. Earlier, it was not a problem. He would he would be very confident about taking all his sheets and going. Right. But uh, it, there was a stage when he felt that, no, I can't do that any longer. Mm. And when we went to them, uh, to the urologist, he just suggested a circumcision. Mm. And uh, he said, uh, he will uh, outgrow this, uh, wait for four or five years. We were very educated in my family. We had uh, all of them, were the men were all engineers. Right. Uh, one, we had an um, MBA, uh, we had a um, doctorate in physics, mm. and we had um, one uh, son-in-law who was uh, who had done his MBA in Indiana University. So it was like a very educated family. And then suddenly this, how come, none, you know, like no one uh, understood that this, some relation is there between bedwetting and uh, kidney Correct, disease. correct, correct. So we were very foxed. And, and, and in subsequently your, uh, you know, kind of uh, work that you do and the research you did, did you find that is a common? Uh... I started research immediately. Right. And uh, then I found out National Kidney Foundation had this, that it, was, it is one of the rarest, mm. like 2% of the bedwetting children end up with the ESRD. So, right. you know, like he was like one of the fortunate people who he reached there, reached the end post. But uh, mm. uh, it was uh, something. And I was working right then. I started my work on the book Shades of Life. Right. And, uh, I was always uh, with this kidney disease stuff. Right. Right. Um, Usha ji, in your case, um, Sunny was older, right? Uh, Yes, 42. I think 42. 42 when he was diagnosed. And uh, <coughs> actually, the for me, the whole thing is a complete shock. Mm. Complete shock and surprise and inadequacy as far as I'm concerned. And um, she said that, like she said, everybody was educated and all that. We, we are, we're all educated. I mean, I, I was fairly educated. But you, one notices or one realizes how badly uh, neglected was my education or uh, how selectively did I get badly <laughs> you know, educated, which shall I say. Because uh, there are some things which you don't want to accept or you don't right. want to think, think of. So right through you think that, oh, your children are fine and you know you're fine and everything is going off well and everything's good at the Utuk farm. Mm -hmm. You know, so that that's your... your uh, final line every day and you thank God and you've got your prayers going and you, you your gratitude is there. Everything is intact. Right. And then when this suddenly hits you like a bolt from the blue and you know there was no there were no symptoms that we mm. knew of. You see, I think because uh, he was a much uh, much older than the other two. So you know we uh, I didn't as a mother I didn't really uh, notice these kind of things, you know, like bedwetting or having to, you mm. know, go to the toilet too many times in a night. No, nothing, none of that. But the one thing that I did, which I told you about the other day, which I did find that his face was becoming darker. Right. right. And then, uh, of course, and he's a fair boy. He's a fair lad. And so when uh, I told, I used to tell Sunny often, you know, the why looking so dark? And then he'd say, Amma, you've got your color conscious. And, you know, mm. he'd just make fun of it and leave it at that. So, okay, I also left it at that. But the day that he told me that, uh, you know, his, uh, well, it was a company uh, package deal, which they right. had to have every the annual month, screening. Uh, every, uh, yeah. Annual screening. In which uh, the previous year in July, he uh, uh, knew that he was... Uh, it was creatinine was one. Oh, let me tell you, I didn't even know what was creatinine. And that's mm. really bad news as far as uh, if you call yourself educated 
creatinine and you don't know what is creatinine. I mean, there's something wrong with you somewhere. You know, it's ridiculous because we all had our blood tests or whatever it is and didn't even bother to look at it because the main thing was you looked at hemoglobin and then you looked at sugar and then... And you look at whatever later. is marked red, right? Yes. So you only and look you, at... That. No, and you look... No, you look for, I'm saying. Mm, Say, yeah. for example, you've got a, a bad throat or something like that and you want to get... So you do a blood test. You're looking for eosinophilia or whatever right, thing right, you're thinking of. Right. Okay. And... Uh, hemoglobin and then you think of uh, what shall I say triglycerides later on in life wondering what is cholesterol or something like that okay so one I never looked at this mm. never ever so uh, in July the previous year he uh, his creatinine was uh, 0. 0.0 or something or 0. 0.1 whatever and uh, the next year when he was diagnosed it was 8.60 right and uh, that came as a rude shock to me when he told me, he just walked into the room and he said, I was wondering why he was coming back late from work. And, you know, mm -hmm. he said he was going for this blood test or whatever. And then he came into the room and I will never forget that moment. I, I was sat in my blue chair looking at the uh, television and he walked in and he said, uh, Amma, I've got some bad news for you. I said, what? Mm -hmm. And he said, uh, my creatinine is uh, 8.60. And uh, I said, and so what about that? And he said, um, my doctor has suggested that I straight away get, get into dialysis. And wow. my first shock or first reaction was that of anger. And I'm not an angry person, okay? I think when I look back now, I think the anger came out of the fact that I was so inadequate. Mm that I couldn't realize what he was talking about. So I was angry. And uh, I said, what do you mean dialysis? Yes, it, you, he said, yes, you've got to have dialysis. And I said, maybe this blood test is wrong. Let me go to Subhita, Subhita Tatto, who is our family person. He said, okay. So I rang up Subhita and he said, in the meantime, I tried to get through to Anjali, my daughter, and find out from her because they have, uh, my son-in-law has contacts in, coaching and all that so we just wanted to get an opinion so in the meantime I rang up uh, Dr. Subir Datta and he said 8.60 is very high so you know we'll do I said but I he said I can't he the doctor himself said I can't believe it because uh, he said in Bengali, in Bengali. He said, yeah that Ato bhalo mani shori run, run and this and that and it, it can't can't be. So, okay, we'll get another blood test done. So, we did the blood test again the next morning and it had jumped up to nine something. Right, right. So, that was crazy, actually. I didn't figure out. And then we finally got through to uh, my daughter and uh, that night itself. And uh, my daughter said, okay, we spoke, spoke to my son-in-law. And he said, okay, I'll speak to Dr. Nenon, who is the uh, nephrologist in coaching. He's my... Right uncle or whatever and then then from then on it carried on so right. you wanted my first reaction was towards myself I saw no symptoms in Sunny mm -hmm. and none which which I could understand right. you see because I think when your child is much younger you notice all these things and you discuss with your spouse or whatever correct, correct. whereas I uh, I remember that Jani was not uh, my husband was not in go in Calcutta mm. though Jani also feels that he kept saying that he was uh, he was looking dark mm. Mm. okay but I don't know if that was a, a symptom enough to to be, warrant uh, uh, yeah, yeah further investigation mm. right right um and then after the diagnosis I think um You'll all, I mean, their sons all went through transplant, right? So, um, Vasundra, you want to, was it easy to figure out the transplant process? Um, uh, and um, actually, it took... You were not in India, right, that time? We were in India. Oh, you were in India, right, sorry. Uh, we had, uh, actually, we had to take a few opinions mm. to find out whether mm. what the doctors uh, said is true. Though Dr. Gandhi is supposed to be very renowned, but we went and we also told Dr. Gandhi we took a second opinion. Excuse but, me, uh, Basundra ji. Just tell me where are you at the moment, or where were you in Bombay? Or now I'm in back in Bombay, returned uh -huh. from Dubai. 
Okay. We went to Dubai basically because we lost all our savings <laughs> mm. on all these treatments that we had. Uh, so, so we took a second. So she was in Bombay that time as well. Yeah. Mm. Right. Okay. So, so then we uh, we took a second opinion and third opinion, and one doctor said, "Let's do a transplant now." So Aditya said, "No, I want I want to go to Dr. Gandhi. I won't do any transplant." And how me. old was your son? I'm sorry, I didn't. Fifteen and a half. Fifteen and a half. But he had a mind of his own. He was like, mm -hmm. uh, I think I was more shocked than he was. He was shocked. Actually, I never found out from him that what did you feel mm -hmm. about. Failure because that was the that was one dialogue I never had when he was. I was also trying to uh, surface my own emotions, trying to understand what to do. My husband was not in town, so I had to take a decision on my own. Correct. <laughs> Just had to find out what's happening around us. Right, right. Um, and for you, Satyendra, did you all have any challenges with, uh, you know, the transplant decision? No, I think it's a very it's a very big shift from a normal situation to a kidney failure uh, mm. situation. So it's, it's a big, big shift, which right. which no other issue, like even a heart issue or, or some other disease can take, because they take some time to, you know, diagnosis and then treatment. But here it's a very fast shift. We have to, so I think good doctors, is, is, is advice is a must, which Vasu ma'am was just uh, telling us and even... Um, the the, the, the ma'am just told us that the, the advice from the right set of doctors is very important in the, in the identification of good hospital. And right. I think immediate immediate transplant is the uh, best solution in this case because because that actually breaks the, uh, the, the all the the pain you are going through and, 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 and the relief is there to the patient also. Right. So who, who, who all, all are uh, there in the uh, this session, I think it is very important for to go for a transplant uh, no, not wasting time. And, and, and Satyendra ji, you are also in Bombay. I'm in Chandigarh, ma'am. Chandigarh. Okay. So I, I was in Chandigarh only that point of time. And uh, since Siddharth was very young and he had some UTI issues, so we took him to a normal doctor. And uh, so, so I think here a word of caution is that all children should be should have a medical test every year, which we don't go for. And only after a certain age, uh, the kids go for the medical checkup. And that is the, uh, the, the I think, not the right way of uh, yeah, of treating the child. So I think that medical treatment should be at age of five and at age of 10, we should get them checked uh, by, by in a good hospital. So so we were going to the normal hospital, normal doctor who was giving him all the vaccinations and all that. So he was treating him. And I think uh, in a normal family, people don't, go so far and they think ki this can happen to a child. Their yeah. child when, when everybody in the family is all normal. normal. Even in my generation, nobody faced this type of uh, tragedy. So, so so we never thought of that and uh, it, it, it was a shock for us. So definitely uh, because uh, people like me who are working in some organization, companies come for support. But in other cases, when uh, the, 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 the parents or the, uh, the, the child don't get support, then it's a uh, bigger issue. So, so I think definitely, uh, so, so there are th five, four, uh, four uh, points which should be noted down here is one is good, good uh, hospital should be there uh, to, to, to get the treatment first. We should not go to a normal one because then, because PGI is here in Chandigarh. So we, we got this opportunity to treat him and, and you know, get, got him admitted immediately to PGI. So, so I think right advice was given and immediately we moved for a transplant decision, which otherwise would have de been delayed if. Uh, we would have not been advised well by a panel of doctors. So uh, immediate, without wasting time in, uh, in dialysis, we should go for transplant. Yeah. Right. Um, I guess that's, uh, again, one of those things that, you know, each family has to figure out what works best and, you know, their finances, etc. as well as a challenge. Mm -hmm. So, um, But it's so strange, you know, that at that moment, I mean, when uh, he, Sunny decided to move to Cochin, uh, actually, uh, Ji and Satendra, I live in uh, Calcutta where, and uh, we have a home in Calcutta, Sunny, myself and my husband. My daughter's married in Cochin. And so uh, for some reason, not some reason, I mean, he, I think he felt it was better that we both go there than all five of them come from there to, Co to Calcutta. Mm. And he somehow felt that the support of his sister would be better. 
Mm. Okay. So, uh, I mean, the decision was taken and on the 4th of July, we left. We, this was all discovered on the 1st. 4th, we left for Kerala. And Dr. Nainan said, on the way from the airport to the hospital or to your home, you come to his hospital first. Mm. So we went to his hospital and he checked him out and he said he should get admitted immediately Mm. and start dialysis because he will need a a transplant. Right. So immediately we went to the, uh, to Lakeshore in Mm. uh, Cochin in Nanakla and uh, yeah, we got him admitted and uh, you know, it's so strange at that time time uh, one really doesn't think of uh, I mean thank God for that but I really didn't think of the money and you know how such an expensive disease this is really Mm. as everybody would know and uh, we went in for the dialysis and then he he had this uh, catheter put in the neck first because they couldn't find a vein so then uh, he was going through dialysis on that. And he was perfectly normal, perfectly. He just uh, was perfect. I, I think I was the one who was most uh, affected by all that. And though I never showed it to him, I tried behaving as normally as I could. And uh, I still do. I mean, the only time when I, uh, I mean, I cry almost every day and I uh, encourage people to cry because mm. it's not always, it's, it's a good thing actually to let it out. And also it, uh, it's cathartic, you know, it's Correct. a catharsis to be able to cry. And, uh, but I will never get into his room and with a sad face, never. Mm. It's always with a happy face. And he's always, uh, He's always a bright child, you know. There's no no question about it. But when we heard about the fact that he has to do his transplant, mm. then it became, I don't know, I mean, it seemed to, seems uh, by their conversation that was slightly easier for them. But we realized that you can't just get a transplant done anywhere in, in India just like that. Right. But in Kerala, it's legal. And you, there are ways of doing it and uh, legally. And so we went the straight path. Mm. We uh, tried to do it legally and uh, we waited. And all this uh, horrible words. And, you know, you want to... Uh, actually, I am quite an escape. Not an escapist. What shall I say? When uh, uh, Satyendra said that, you know, everybody should have a medical checkup. I'm scared even uh, even to just go to the doctor for anything. I'd mm. rather not. Okay. I know that's a wrong attitude, but though I would encourage my children to do it, I would probably encourage everybody else to do it. But for myself, it's just a no, no. I just feel that as long as I'm feeling okay and all, there's no need to go to a doctor. You know, you know what I mean? Yeah. That why it, because I'm always thinking that if I go in for, go and look for something, you know, I'll, the doctor will find 300 other things. And I don't want to do 300 other things. <laughs> I really don't. <laughs> on the lighter side or on the darker side, really. Right, right. <clears throat> but when we realized what all, what all it entailed to get the transplant done. Oh, let me tell you about my husband's reaction. That was mm. really funny. That was really funny when I spoke to him from Calcutta and I told him, you know, Sonny's been uh, uh, diagnosed with this. And so we'd be coming. He said, oh, that's no problem, actually. You can just, uh, you know, it or with medication, it'll all go. Mm. So little we know. We know so little. Right. And, right. Uh, you know, like Pasundraji said, she did a lot of research. But I was not. Uh, I'm, I was not uh, tech savvy at that time, and even now, though I am, I there are very few things like uh, this wretched vaccination or COVID, or I don't go into the nitty gritty because I know I can't handle it, mm. and it's not. I, it's I'm not able to do much with that knowledge. Okay, right. Sometimes I feel uh, little knowledge is not good. Right. You know, it just um, just makes you think of it. But there are times. When during his dialysis in Cochin, where I had an offer, I mean, I was supposed to go to England, and then they told me to Anjali told me to get him snacks without with less salt and right, know, all sorts right. of things. Yeah, and uh, 
uh, there was so so many little little things coming out of that that when I, I thought about the transplant and when they said you have to either get a, a donor or you have to wait for a that word cadaver. is horrible cadaver, cadaver. yes word, uh, you see them in, <laughs> Too many. I think I read too many Robin Cook books in my younger days, and I shouldn't have really because it didn't <laughs> do me much good. And uh, then, yeah, then we found the donor, and uh, we did everything according to uh, right, right, properly right. done. But it was a process, and mm. it, uh, we followed the process. The process, and that's right. another thing which Sunny is very, uh, very, very. Uh, Oh, tied up particular in about mind. particular yeah, that about. I shouldn't uh, that he shouldn't you know people shouldn't think that oh she's a celebrity he wants to go but I said look I've worked hard enough mm. what is wrong if somebody is giving me uh, a, a little bit of an advantage like if you have to go instead of standing in the you know in the line so long to get a bill process or something what is there? I mean, why? But he would never want me to do that. He would always mm. want Anjali to go. And But, in uh, you know, there's no need to feel like that. I just kept feeling. I still feel that way. Right. That I've worked. God knows I've worked hard enough to get that recognition. Or why shouldn't I use it? But mm. no, not with Sunny. Mm. It is just, you just have to go the straight way. Right. So when we got the donor, then we had the transplant. Now you want to go to the next uh, yes. step then go ahead. <laughs> yes, thank you, thank you. Uh, so I think that I'll come back to you, Asundra. Um, I think both uh, Sunny and Aditya had went through a rejection of the transplant. Um, how did that, you know, how was that process for Sundra? And how, you know, what were your reactions to it? Because you, you think fundamentally that, okay, we've, fix the problem right in a sense we've got a transplant things will be better now and then tell us walk us through that uh, you know that uh, the... also. so after he was detected we uh, we had time he was still not star ready for the dialysis so we went searching and i got myself tested and i was approved by dr gandhi and two days later, I was detected, two or three days later, I felt a lump in my mm. breast and I was detected with a breast cancer. So that put us into one big spot because, you know, suddenly there was a donor and this year old said, oh, my donor is not there. And uh, he was in the class 10, he was studying for his uh, ICSC board. And all this drama was happening and I thought probably he will not win pass the exam. But he uh, scored very good percentage and he got into KC and Jai Hind, uh, uh, what is that, St. Xavier's, then he went to right. IIT, all that happened. But in the meantime, after I got myself cured of my breast cancer, I was able to donate. And I had to put up a strong fight to donate because the doctor was not very easy to agree to that donation. Correct. And uh, Correct. all this time he was on dialysis? He started dialysis. When I went into my treatment, breast cancer treatment, he started his dialysis. And uh, so, so it was very, that one, that period was very tough for us from 96 to 99. We had to uh, get so many treatments done and so much mm. of expenditure. All our savings were utilized. We didn't have uh, insurance. And it's also, it's also extremely stressful, right? Cancer treatment itself is intense. Yeah. In terms of you know the care required, the so chemotherapies. I went, I went into I went I finished my thing, came out. I would go to work because the office said uh, that you know if you don't come to work, you know we may have to change uh, fi find someone else. And I was very keen that I should be earning for the transplant. Mm. So running back to work, going in for the chemotherapy, uh, and then coming back the, after one day's rest, I would go back to work. So all this drama I did, finally, I was able to donate. Right. After, uh, after six years, he lost his kidney when he was doing his PhD in LA. He had uh, taken some uh, over-the-counter medication, mm. and uh, which was, uh, you know, at that time, it was um, Christmas time. So the doctors were not there in LA. So he just thought it was cold and he just had some medications. Right. And, uh, right. The result was so fast. Uh, by by first of uh, January, I got a call saying that he has lost his kidney, and I had to rush from India to LA. 
Mm. And then the, the the going back, you know, the the rejection is something that I think I didn't accept it. Aditya could have accepted it because he knew that his body could tell him. Right. The, I would ask the doctor very naively that, oh, will it come back? What do you think? So they did the plasma uh, plasma therese. They did the solumetrol. They gave all the anti-rejection medication. And then we, uh, then he had finished one month of dialysis and I'm still thinking that there'll be some way the kidney will just kick up and we will be very happy again. Mm. We were uh, rock bottom where funds were. My husband was uh, had shifted to Dubai so that he can earn for, earn for the family. One elder son had gone to LA for his uh, masters. Right. So you know it was just like sending people and doing all this uh, rigmarole. And when he lost his kidney, the only thing that I, he just suddenly woke up one morning and he said, "Ma, I'm so sorry I lost your kidney." I said, oh, I'm not worried about my kidney. I'm worried that you don't, you have to go back to dialysis. Mm. Doing a PhD and going back to dialysis in LA was so tough. And I was living in the bachelor pad, four or five guys. I was cooking them nice meal. They were happy. But then I was sitting alone and I'm feeling so sad about his situation. that Suddenly all of them were enjoying life. And you know, when you see them in that. Correct. That phase of life, right? You know, you're at home. You're only in your own home, so you don't see the other right. But as I was cooking for them, the other kids were so good. They were mm. so cooperative. Right. He enjoyed his uh, LA life with dialysis, with peritoneal dialysis. He would go to uh, Yosemite Park. They'll mm. drive into the forest. They'll camp there. And he'll do his peri peritoneal dialysis. It was fun for him, but it was a lot of uh, stress because... I was sitting in Dubai and worrying about him. Then I right. would go, I mean, every four months I'd be there and another six months I would come here, then go back. So right. was, life was between the two. Right, and, right. And my son, when I got cancer, the elder son said that I'll donate my kidney. Mm. If you got cancer, I don't want you to go through this. Let me donate it. But uh, I didn't want, because the age group was age, and the difference was only a year and a half. So now the second time around, we could get his kidney. Mm. Rejection is the tough one for the patient handling. The caregiver never talks about it, but it's it's that one thing that is there's so much of regret that you have to go through that today because he's had a transplant. I'm smiling a little, but then Correct. that phase was the toughest phase. In life. Right. So right. You almost lost. It's losing a kidney is almost like losing losing someone very close to you in the family. So that is a that is a depression or a, that you know you get very sad. The whole family mm. become you know we were all very sad that he went back to dialysis. But Aditya, being cheerful as he was, he was enjoying himself. You're going to Yosemite, doing this that. But I think I as a mother I. I was not so happy. I was still very sad that right. I go back to dialysis. Right, right. Um, I know when we spoke Ush, uh, to uh, Sunny and Anjali in one of the previous webinars, uh, I think in Sunny's case, there were enough signs that the, the body was not, uh, you know, kind of uh, accepting the transplanted kidney, right? Uh, mm -hmm. So were you kind of more prepared for the transplant to finally fail and to for him to go back to the go back to dialysis? No, actually, I didn't even realize that I knew that there was something wrong, mm. but uh, it was Anjali who really shook me into reality and said, "Amma, you know that it's being rejected. It's been scarred. The mm. kidney is getting scarred every time." And uh, yeah, we, and we finally knew that it was rejected. He got back uh, onto dialysis. And uh, like uh, Vasundraji just said, I mean, you know, she really brought tears to my eyes. But she said, as a mother, you really, um, the child is, uh, he's able to accept it better than you are, you know. And that is so true. And I really thank God for my music that I've, you know, I was able to 
divert my mind to so many other things like uh, uh, yes but i think the sadness uh, lives with you the whole the whole time because you're thinking every day mm. every day you know because uh, sunny is going through dialysis and uh, he's very happy he doesn't want to go to through another transplant so far right right so and uh, he gets uh, more and more energized when he knows that there are so many people who have done it for 20 years and doing very well and they're happy and you know so uh, but when we moved i mean when we did the whole thing in the house i mean you know he wanted to instead of going to the hospital every day and uh, he's not able to take the 4 hour thing you know mm. so he takes only 2 hours which means he has to do it for 6 days definitely in the week so the the house and then, and then with this corona wretched thing okay. you know oh i don't know how vasundhara ji is like a real soldier it's amazing how she's been able to go through the whole thing and um, i'm really really uh, wondering whether it's uh, i'm really not so good at, as a panelist i think because i get too emotionally involved you know what i mean and um i think it's uh, when i used to see him i remember when we even went to uh, the vatican okay we went together sunny and myself mm. and uh, you know it was some of the happiest times that we spent together but uh, after the transplant then when he said about oh, when i got to know this thing about the moon face that mm. how with the steroids, steroids. Uh, even now on my cupboard at any time you'll find all the hajar medicines that he had to take you know silica this that and the other well, all sorts of things well i take also but uh, somehow i mean you know that seems so so terrifying actually but actually he's he's happy mm. this corona times has just uh, uh, made it a little bit more scary because uh, there's this technician who has to come in every day right right and uh, he's okay but i mean mm. you know so we've kept a room specially for him and how we're managing is uh, we have a uh, or uh, sanitized clothes for him to wear right, so everything right. comes in and so the dialysis but i don't know whether sunny is uh, really he's not uh, he's not keen to have a, another transplant at the moment mm. so i really don't know if there are so many opinions which would matter because i think uh, they take their own decisions you absolutely. know absolutely absolutely yeah. and so it doesn't make any sense for us to say why do don't you maybe once in two, three four months or something i'd say have you thought of anything and you mm. know what about that he had he has a friend called lian obviously right. uh, the tennis player tennis and player. Uh, they were talking about something called the bionic chip or something mm. like that so i don't know when that's ever going to come or if it's going to come at all but um, yeah he's not um, in the mood for a uh, right. other right right uh satendra let us get you back on um you also talk of and especially because you have a you know young child at the moment uh and um you know how did how do you feel as a family in terms of your social interactions right um uh, do you feel uh, that uh, you have to cut off a lot of the engagements that you used to have earlier do you feel isolated as a family or do you you know uh, how do you handle that yeah so um, of course uh, there is a difference between earlier and this time that mm-hmm. the social interaction are not uh, not much now because uh, looking at the uh, when siddharth is restricted uh, for uh, eating outside in in public mm-hmm. gathering we also uh, we don't go much out mm-hmm. and definitely so that we only visit the hygienic place and of course so we miss uh, family functions at times because travel restrictions are there for for the kid and of course many times uh, we avoid the social gathering because uh, then the kid is not going and we go outside so he he feel uh, about right. why he is not going so right but but definitely uh, uh, with the growing age uh, he need to interact more and we we, we have to unlearn ourselves and get into the new 
new method of getting him outside and making him more interactive in family functions also so that people understand his problem because mm. this is this this type of problem normally people don't understand only we understand our kids problem mm. so definitely logo ko samjhana bada mushkil hai ki what phase we are going going to hmm hmm so so that is a very difficult part for a mother <clears throat> his mother and for me yeah really i would like really to interject here hmm uh um satyendra my younger brother was down syndrome and we called him boss because my father started the or a, a business and he didn't have a boss so he called him boss but this child was taken everywhere we went anywhere we didn't allow we didn't worry whether the outsiders thought anything about him uh, we we said okay let us go out we are going out for lunch we are going out for dinner we would take him anywhere to kaiber overoy anywhere and we didn't bother so you know we we must not worry about what the world will think about the child and if it's a hygienic place and you can take him that social interaction is important for for you for your wife for the child suddenly cutting off will not be good right yes ma'am that's thing that i don't like to go socializing i don't like to go for a wedding because kid i have nothing to talk i'll be talking about kidney disease it doesn't matter to them but uh, you are still young so you must do it <laughs> Yes, that's true. Actually, you know, even for me, it's only now recently after Anjali has become such a amazing, amazing, strong rock. She always was, but you know, starting and working with Kidney Foundation and working with uh, Mumbai Kidney and then Kidney Warriors and then Sunny Foundation, she's become so open about all these things. But you know, it's so funny. Uh, we uh, it took some time really to openly talk about it. it's mm. so strange i don't know for what reason but we didn't speak much about it but right. uh, yeah but he was uh, uh, you know he i hoped that he wouldn't go out so much at that time but he did mm. he did go out a lot he's mm. a very social human being and you know his social life i think because he's uh, older age than right. satinders yeah right right so you know uh, his social life was totally totally different i have no social life because i'm on the stage all the time and i'm happy with that i'm happy with that so when there is no show i'm very happy being at home and just being a a housewife or being a mother yeah oh but i tell you something the i remember very very well uh, about how everybody handled the you know everyone handles it so differently okay i was staying at the taj in uh, london when i went uh, once when i had a show and it was the first time that i was leaving sunny in cochin and i was going to uh, going for a show abroad it was actually my son sunny and anjali who both said that amma you'll become a zombie sitting like this in you know without doing anything so better get back to your singing you know don't yeah. do this and so they both colluded son and uh, daughter and saw to it that i started singing again it wasn't a huge gap or anything but still i was refusing everywhere because right. i was torn i was torn between you know being with him Wanting or going to, to be the show right yeah right so when i went to the taj this was such a fantastic thing i uh, i had only two days okay so i on the first day as soon as i reached i spoke to the concierge no i spoke to the receptionist first and i said can you tell me where i can get uh, food like you know where there's no sodium or low sodium or this or that or the whatever it is snacks for yeah right. because you can get everything Correct. abroad Correct. so uh, she said why don't you ask the concierge so i went and asked the concierge and i said look i'm uh, looking out for something like this can you just draw or you know show me on the tube or show me on by taxi if i went where i was going you know how helpful they are okay. over there yeah. so he took out a map and then he showed me he said this is where you are at the taj next to buckingham palace you have to go by taxi blah 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 he showed me the whole thing and then he said for what are you looking for i mean just tell me for what 
So I said, well, actually, I'm looking uh, out for this. And it took me so long to say it. And I said, I'm looking out because my son's got a kidney problem. And, you know, I was saying it so apologetically. And then that was the day that it, everything changed for me. Not mm -hmm. many people know about it, but I, um, because I've not spoken about it. The person who was the concierge at the concierge, he, uh, he said, you know, then you came to the right place because I'm a kidney patient myself. Wow. Well, it was really wow. <laughs> so I was so excited. I can't tell you how thrilled I was. Right. And, he, and yeah, and but he so he told me, he said, I don't think you'll get what you're thinking you'll get. But anyway, go to this particular market. And I went over there. And the lady over there, she's another one who made me think hundred times. Yeah, she mm. was really fantastic. I said, do you have anything with uh, less sodium? Because, I, And she said, for whom are you looking for? Mm. And I said, I'm looking for my son who's right. got a kidney problem. And she said, oh, but that's no big deal. Mm. That's no big deal because you're never going to get a snack which has got less sodium. Everything has a little bit. But if you look at the thing at the back, you'll realize how much and actually how little it is actually. Right, right. Even the normal chips that you have or whatever, you only think that it's got so much. As you, but he said, she said, all you need, I mean, it's a one teaspoon, which you would probably need for the whole day anyway. Mm, correct. How correct. much is he allowed? And I remember saying something 0 0.5 mg or something crap like that uh, do I don't even remember what I said I and try. you know she opened my eyes and she said look if you have a sauce that you, he's putting or he, uh, don't worry so much mm. because you're not having the whole bottle of sauce you're just having a little bit just right. like a dip or something so don't worry and don't restrict him so much he's right. restricting himself it's okay but mm. it's not such a big deal it's not so much you'll have to have the whole bottle of sauce to consume what you think is wrong for him. Okay. Right, right. So they, there were a lot of things which were put in perspective when I went back to coaching. And uh, yeah, he's working out every moment. Every moment he's working out his own dietary plan because Correct. he knows what his problem is. Correct. And Correct. that makes it uh, makes a, a big difference between uh, Satendra's child and, and my child because I think the age Ages. and also his social his social life is totally different from my social life. Right. Because right. as I said, I have none. Right. So he, his social life, because of the corona, actually has come down. Mm. Mm. Not not because of the kidney. Uh, right. 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 Yeah. Right. And uh, he's always making a joke about it and saying that, you know, I mean, I should tell all my uh, lady friends now that they'll, they'll have to pay more dowry because I've got three kidneys. And you know, where, do you get, <laughs> where do you find men with three kidneys? Yeah. Right. So that kind right. of thing. But uh, Vasundra's son being in L.A. and, you know, so far away and, you know, traveling like this, it's, it's something so different. And everybody's story is unique. Correct. Correct. It's Absolutely. really unique. And this is, I mean, a panel which I am so grateful to you for really for doing this because, you know, it makes you feel that, okay, you know, you're not the only one. Exactly. Uh, I felt that long time back, as I said, when I was in at the Taj in London. Right. When he, and he was working so hard right. in the concierge. Yeah? He said, don't, don't even think twice about it. And it's not just me. There's another person as well in mm. my family who's got it. Right. <laughs> you know? Yeah, right. became easy yeah. to handle. Correct, correct. So there are a couple of comments. I think uh, Dr. Sundar says that even he is too scared to go for tests, uh, Usha. So you're not oh, the lovely. only one. <laughs> <laughs> Great. <laughs> right. Great. And a few people say hi um, along the way. Um, if we can see that later. Um I think a couple, I'm just conscious of time. If people have any questions, you can uh, feed them either on the kidney uh, chat, uh, on the kidney page. I don't know page. how the time has just flown. Actually. I know. <laughs> so I'm just very conscious of people's times. Um, just a couple of uh, things, um, you know, if you think back and see how did you learn to cope yourself, right? As in, what were your, to some extent, Usha, you talk of music as mm -hmm. the way... Um, of Out. coping but uh, mm -hmm. or as an outlet etc um, are there any other things that worked for you 
at an end. Oh, lots of, lots of things, actually. Lots of things. I, uh, from 2015, mm. I started uh, using the sanitizer. I started using the mask long before COVID ever came. Mm. And uh, I've been using a mask. It's always in my bag. There were always mm. five or six because my musicians were always traveling with me. And I would try to convince them. The many people made fun of me in the airports and things saying, well, you look like the mass raider or whatever it is. But mm. I was, uh, so I learned to cope with that. I also learned to, uh, on my own, not telling Sunny about it or anything like that, but gave up a lot of things. But I, actually, I'm vegetarian, okay? Mm. So what more could I give up? Like he, uh, at that time, I think he was worried about this this moon face thing coming, you know. So you try to risk. I mean, you know, he went to the diet and things like that. So I tried to give up whatever little I could, and mm. you know, to to follow a certain regime, right? Okay, and uh, I also became more conscious of the fact that he was uh, more susceptible. Mm. Mm. Okay, so uh, in, almost like. Um, what shall I say? It was like a switch, especially when we came back to Calcutta from Cochin. It almost became like, uh, yeah, like putting on a switch and putting off. I just, uh, not that I'm a great, a great entertainer with my friends and things, but it's always been an open home. When Anjali comes, there are like 50 people in the house, all her friends. And Sunny has got another 50 people, all, all his own friends. Mm. But myself, I tried to stop even the few friends that... I had right. um, yeah, to the house and mm. uh, to avoid infection or to avoid that. Correct. I remember, yeah, I remember my dentist once when I went to her, she said to me that she knows a person who's got the kidney thing and, you know, he can, unfortunately he can't come for the meeting that we've got. We had some cultural meeting and this uh, doctor couldn't come because he, he was not uh, feeling too well. So, you know, if there's a little bit of a anything, you know, a small cold or a small cough or whatever, everything gets magnified because of the kidney disease, right? So we all became, I became, I don't know about my husband, and I, but I became much, much more uh, aware of the fact that I should not be the reason to, you know, put him into any kind of a, a problem. So I learned to cope with that and I coped with it marvelously and I, I'm still coping with it. And, uh, you know, when he has his dialysis, I don't even get out of the room because he is so, he's so about it, about the fact that I might come outside and, you know, meet with the uh, technician and, you know, he's wor very worried because probably because of my age, because of Corona and this and that and the other. But I am uh, very, very cooperative. I have not left home ever since this started. Of course, now I went out for my the vaccination. And he also had his... He's very, very proactive. He wanted to do the vaccination. He, he believes in the fact that, you know, so it's nice. It's wonderful to have somebody who is not all the time wallowing in self-pity. And, you know, I think he, he went through those phases earlier on. But not now, not self pity. I mean, but worried about pain and things like that. But it's not like that anymore. So I have coped, and God is God is the greatest help, really. But also, I have a very uh, positive way of thinking, anyhow, and I don't allow things like this to get me down for too long. As I said, I go into the washroom and cry a hell of a lot. I can cry, yeah, but uh, I don't do it in front of him. I don't. I try anyway. But I'm sure he knows also. I can't hear you, love. Uh, yeah. yeah, I'm sure he, he does know that. Um, Vasundra, in terms of you, your, you know, what were the, what has been the few things you've done to cope apart from starting Kidney Warriors Foundation? So many uh, prayers and this and that fasting, all that. Initially, then gradually I gave up all that. Now I, I'm i okay. Now I'm, I've am i given up many of But pray, of course, definitely. Mm. One can't stop praying. Because yes. You know, Vasundra, just looking at you makes me feel so good. 
really so much, all of you <laughs> all of you on the panel it's just so lovely because uh, you know makes me feel uh, there is i think there is a peace uh, there is a glow in the uh, you know the caregiver or you know it 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 shows i'm I, i'm 100% sure because there are people who have told me that I, i i look much better than i ever looked before and you know that there is a certain glow i think there is uh, when you accept or when i see uh, satyendra ji i mean i there is a there is a you know that acceptance that peace that you get once you've accepted whatever it is shows on your face i mean you know and it's just such a beautiful uh, face that you can see i can find it looking at uh, satyendra ji or uh, at uh, vasundra ji you know i can feel it within i know that i can feel it when i'm singing i know that i'm singing much better than i ever sang before really really and uh, i feel happy for that god knows uh, that's his way of showing i guess but like she says prayer right. really i find myself praying all the time and people think when i when before covid when i was still on the flight people thought that oh she's all the time singing but actually you know what i was doing i think oh father what never hallowed be the name of oh, this thing a prayer so slight the people think that but actually i'm saying the our father or maybe the doing all this matter, getting onto the plane because I never want people to realize or think that you know why is she so gloomy you know you can't even in being a, you know a well-known person or a well-known face even the slightest uh, uh, what shall I say non-smiling face of mine people comment what happened to you? ऐसे क्यों लग रहे हैं एंड इट्स सो इरिटेटिंग बिकॉज यू कॉन्ट इवन क्राई इन यू नो एंड बी हैप्पी यू हैव टू कीप ऑन स्माइलिंग एंड स्माइलिंग एंड स्माइलिंग हैज बिकम अ वे ऑफ लाइफ जहां पर भी जाइए सिक्योरिटी में लोग पूछते हैं आज क्या हुआ आपको ऐसे नहीं हेलो बोल रहे हैं मॉर्निंग यू 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 नो चेकिंग इन एंड एंड दे 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 एक्सपेक्ट एक्सपेक्ट एंड 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 यू 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 beautiful um, glow on their face yeah Thank the you. really right um yes uh, satyendra ji what do you do for sorry vasnara you're saying something i just wanted to thank usha ji for all the praises she's giving us you know we are just silently listening <laughs> <laughs> i know <laughs> satyendra ji um in terms of you know how are you as a family you personally and as a family how have you learned to cope yeah, i think very important and uh, the first is that meditation is yes uh, we get more to that side and uh, the, the second is of course spending more time with the uh, with, with the kids so th- that is more important that i think before i was not spending that much time uh, mm-hmm. i was uh, get on the work more and less with the family but now i am spending more time and uh, the consultation has gone much more now right at the family side so that is the key difference between earlier and now and, uh, and i think the spending time is the the best we can do uh, to you know heal them for, from the, all the pain and yeah right thank you and that's so wonderful jo aapne kaha na it's really fantastic lekin hum logon ke liye ye to hua hi nahi i don't think it happened even with vasundra ji because our children were already grown and they had their own life to ab main agar zyada ek line zyada poochti hu to he gets irritated with me even if i want to spend some time he, he refuses to let me be there for the yeah. dialysis first of all he never allows me to sit at the dialysis mm. never he'd rather have the maid who's in the house or the boy who looks after all the water uh, machinery and the dialysis unit and everything right. so but he doesn't want me there okay so uh, jaise aapne kaha ke you need to spend more time or you get a chance to spend more time or whatever wo to hua hi nahi hamare life mein ajeeb si baat hai agar mujhe 
karna bhi ho even if i'm dying to talk to him something or the other how was the match today or something you never say you know aake baith here my room mein or come and sit in my room and sit next to me nothing nothing <laughs> i'm just dying for that <laughs> just dying for him to say oh you know Right. I remember one classic, बहुत ही classic message he had sent to me. I send messages in the morning to everybody in our group and everything. And um, so I used to re- regularly message Sunny. Okay, when I was when he was in Kochi, you know. And once he said, "I wish that my girlfriends would message me the way my mother does." <laughs> 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 so <laughs> that's as far as it went right where, uh, spending more time with him <laughs> was concerned right yeah i think the age of the person matters quite a bit yes. so um uh, one final question i think we really should wrap up uh, uh one thing that you wish for um satyendra ji i think uh, i wish for uh, that some alternative should come uh, for the kidney patients you know and the the medical advancement so that the suffering is reduced and that is the only reason that i associated myself with the kidney warrior foundation i want to give back to society now because uh, it can it cannot be take and take we have to give back and and i i have already started it and in whatever means i can do it and uh, i'll i'll do uh, do more and more now for the society for the for the suffering people so that at least i can contribute from my part and Right. 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 about heart and this and that and the other but there is not enough even though we have kidney warriors and i'm so so grateful to be part of them then there's a, a mohan foundation and there's mm-hmm. sunny then there's a, so many so many but nobody collectively is really talking about it on uh, on the media and i really wish i really pray uh i know that na- nothing can turn back as far as sunny's dialysis is, is concerned i just wish i have two wishes i just wish that uh, whatever he is doing i hope he has the same fantastic spirit of uh, being such a sportsman and being such an amazing amazingly spirited child that i keep praying god please what whatever it takes just keep him this way Mm. you know let thy will be done okay but please keep him this way because uh, he is a rock and he is really my hero but my bigger wish is that for the larger people i mean larger betterment of the people i think uh, it has to really come out into the open right. you know people yes. are they're just not aware mm. people are just not aware even of the basic words creatinine dialysis ckd this stage that stage nothing 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 there's heart there's uh, cancer there's uh, there used to be uh, dengue there's uh, everybody diabetes. seems to know about everything Di- sorry diabetes everybody knows about everything else but they don't know about this but also as anjali once said so beautifully that it's the only uh, the disease where you have an option mm. where there is an option right like either the transplant or the dialysis whatever but my wish is that i hope that people and and in the media and everywhere people really start talking about this why only everywhere in every conversation you find in every channel that they're talking about what uh, that word itself is so morbid is comorbidity or whatever it means right why that that's my wish is for more okay. awareness for kidney disease and uh, make it less uh, less expensive in mm. some hope some way or the other right it's it's really 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 expensive right and i know how everybody when asindra ji said that you know it's so difficult imagine what the poor people are going through right. absolutely now, 
we're not talking about that. No. We're only talking about all sorts of other things. I mean, not, not that those are, it's not a question, as I always say, you don't say, you don't, can't measure the mm. pain that somebody is going through. Absolutely. But, yeah. Okay. And uh, Vasundra, to you, uh, you know, the one thing you would wish for, one thing, one both as Vasundra as well as Kidney Warriors. Uh, one thing that we have to do as Kidney Warriors Foundation is try to start dialogues with the government to get the insurance, to get some relief in medicine costs, you know, because just like what Ushaji just said, people can't afford this type of, you know, cost. And even for the transplant and the dialysis, sure. just have to work out the cost, make it more uh, uh, easy for the patients to, you can't change the disease, you can't wish it away. Right. Yes, that's it. You because just can't. We, see that we can give facilities. Mm. So that, you know, patients, at the end of the day, we should feel that we have left something behind. Today, we are still talking about, we are doing this and that, but we need to really... Uh, put something on the plate for patients to know that yes, we are getting back something from Kidney Warriors Foundation, from the government of all the states. And if we have a uh, united approach at the government level, and uh, it is just uh, translated down, and every correct takes that, nothing like that. Right. Right. To- and as you said, you know, Vasundarji, it's so true. Uh, this you, you, even when you, uh, you when you pray, you can't say God. I mean, I talk. My dialogue with God is like I'm talking to all of you. I keep telling him every day. Okay, for other things like you know, I say, show us your miracle. Come on now, show me your miracle. I want to see it. You know, show me. But I know that there is going to be no miracle as far as the dialysis is concerned. You know, right. it's got to carry on the same way. And uh, so, what I do pray for is the miracle of uh, His Spirit, of a Spirit of Life, and the awareness. Right. Somehow, maybe this is a good idea to do do something with the government, but I don't know. Uh, how soon that could work out. But in any way, I mean, in any way, of course, everybody knows that I would do anything at all to, you know, to be a part of uh, getting the government and, and the people aware of this. But it is so expensive. So, hey, how are we going to do that? How? Right. How on earth? Right. Just okay. have to. Right. Thank you. Thank you so much, everyone. And thank you for our audience. I think we've had audiences quite spellbound and listening uh, and, you know, not knowing what to ask and what to say. Uh, But I think there's a lot of good takeaways here, uh, you know, in terms of how people learn to cope, how uh, acceptance is an important part of the journey, uh, but also going forward, right? How do we gather uh, momentum around creating change, whether it's awareness in uh, and uh, you know more conversations in the media to recognize and talk about the challenges, uh, to be able to communicate with policymakers uh, about the changes that need are needed, and obviously cost is a incredibly uh, significant com- component of it, but there are other, you know, psychosocial, access to psychosocial care is another big one, right? So, so many families deal with uh, the psychological aftermath of this uh, disease as well. And it is a significant burden on the family. So I think it is important for, uh, you know, all the players to get together and uh, figure out ways to, uh, I guess, lobby the policymakers uh, to get the necessary changes done. So thank you once again for adding your voice to and, you know, expressing and sharing narratives, which, again, I think have hardly got spoken about. So uh, thank you, Ushaji. Thank you, thank Satyendra. You. And thank you so much, Vasundra. You don't want to do any questions? So. I, uh, let me check if there was. One I'd... question each we can do. Um, let me check if... I'm just checking whether there was, I think most people have kind of said, hi, hello. Um, This discussion is so down to earth and inspiring. Um, I'm just checking. Is there anything in your kidney warriors? I'm just checking there. I think people have been uh, quite, very good life experiences from the panelists. 
the family members and caregivers deserve utmost credit. Uh, KWF is doing a great job. Um, there's one person who has said, my son has been, Mahua has said, has been diagnosed with Alports today. He's nine years old. Please guide me. Um, so I guess, uh, uh, I don't know if you have anything specific to say on that, Vasundra, now, or you'll take that offline with... Yeah, maybe you should give her the address and, you know, she could do that. We can contact him and we have to see his reports and see, understand where he comes from. Right. Uh, right. Message the Tikimori's Foundation page or even uh, patient engage. We can take it further. Yeah. So if you're still watching, uh, um, Mawa, you can uh, message on the page or uh, yeah, either patients engage or kidney warriors and we'll address that. Um, uh, Dr. Arvind Kanchi says Usha Uthabji made a point awareness of kidney disease among the general public is low need to educate. So I think those were really, I think the questions are uh, not really questions. <laughs> They're okay. more comments. Well, I just happy. So, yes. 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 <laughs> thank you. I just want to say yeah, thank you. Ushaji span uh, when I was 17 years. <gasps> great difficulty. I would get that 100 rupees to go to talk of the town. Oh, I lovely. She's a South Indian lady wearing a sari. <laughs> I was wearing bell bottoms. So I would say that she's. Wow. <laughs> My family was very traditional, so, you know, I had to sort of, I was the little chief, uh, you know, the one smart one who would uh, play this, uh, these tricks. Where did you live in Bombay? I was living uh, in uh, in uh, Malabar Hill. Shash oh, snob. Oh. You were quite a snob, Malabar <laughs> Hill. I was in the very underplayed, <laughs> down market by uh, Actually, this, uh, South Indians are very traditional, you know, so the, you mm. cannot have that snobbery. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> there you are. You can't shut up. No. <laughs> yeah. No, so I, I had my conversation with, you know, in the pre-conversation with Usha ji, I said I have to express my fangirl moment and, you know, <laughs> be the, the whole, my husband actually came later on to me and said, why didn't you introduce me to us? <laughs> oh, sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should do this a little bit more often and have more panelists as well, you know. Right. It'll really help. I'm sure it would help. Right. And, um, I think, I so think I'm so. I'm from Jodhpur. Uh, it's a town in Rajasthan. Ji. And uh, I've grown up uh, on mm. all the occasions, you know, listening to you and we were... How great. lovely. From my childhood days, all my schooling days, I think we would have loved to see you on television and how is superb. So great memories to... to and Jee, shukriya. Shukriya. It's a, it's a big day today for me and, and, and also the World Kidney Day. So so I think... The, the, big, big day for me also to meet up with you. Because it's so good that, you know, we're all from different parts of India and it's so lovely that you are in Chandigarh and we've done so many shows in Chandigarh. Kya batai? Really wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank I'm you. glad I could bring a smile onto your face as Thank well. You. you always do. You always do. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, you. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye. Patience engage. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Let's stop the live stream first. Okay.